Let me just make sure that. Uh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> oh, there you go. There we are. Right, so now I need to figure out how to do these things. Like what? Uh, go Actually on. make it go live? Yeah, well, make it public anyway. Make it public. Make it public. I'm actually asking. We really have no idea how to do it either. Why don't you change the light a wee bit, bro? I'm sick of looking like I'm fucking dying in my videos. <laughs> You're so funny. What about that? A wee bit of colour. I just look so tired. <laughs> Right. So how's this work? How's this internet work? Um, I know how to do it from like. Uh, so it's unlisted, so you need to put it. But see, the, uh, the, 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 see the thing is, so see all this conversation that's all been like recorded as a live stream. So see when it goes like live and it's no longer like uh, it's just us. <laughs> It's fine. And being like, I'm sick of you looking fucking dead. It's fine, but. It's fine, but. <laughs> Aye, done. You ever notice a Scottish folk always say but at the end of stuff where it's no all right? Aye. Short but. Aye, but. It's no fair but. Aye. Right. You ready to go ahead then? Aye, why is the thumbnail? I don't know. That's weird. I'm, I'm not in charge of YouTube. Uh, whatever I do what you want. So save? Yeah. Right, it's nice. Yeah. Now I need to go and try and find it on my phone so I can then put it on Twitter and be like, we're doing things now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is one See, you all got your colour on your face, but see, because it's right in front of me, I look dead tired and also very pale. You are tired all the time, Yes, yeah. it's because I have a tiny human inside me sucking all the goodness. <laughs> Taking all my live juice videos, live videos. It's not there. What are you doing? What are you What's doing? doing in it's fine, but. See, the fact. No, there's seven folk there, see? You sure? Seven folk. This giant. And one lake. So quiet. It is dead quiet. It's, it there. it's because you're used to having like half a million people, whatever it is. Is this what it's like to not be popular? Yes, this is exactly what Can it's I like. Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm alright, wait. No, there's probably people talking in the chat, so it's not updated. Oh, there we go, we got one. There we are, fine. That's Chris. Hello, Chris. Now, let's put this on tweeters. Right. On the tweeters. Tweeter tweeters. Do you want me to retweet it then? Eh? If you really want to. Hello. Do, do, do. Oh. Hello. Paste. Yeah. There we go. What are you saying? Happy days. I'll retweet it then. Oh, that's Jesus. I'll retweet it. I don't like the fact that this light's like right in front of me. It hurts me. Do you, want, do you want me to move it then? Can you like at least like angle it away from my face? Aye. I feel like I feel like I'm <laughs> in, in the surface of the sun and I might die. Or like I'm under interrogation. That's my fear. Yes. I don't feel like I want to die as much. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> See look, there's folk. There's folk. See? There's people. There's folk. You get people in their live stream. Look at you. Look at you. Well, because you were saying that like, nobody was there. And I said, there's folk there. There's hundreds of folk there. That's just saying. There's at least, there's nearly three people. I was going to assume him would be bothered. Oh, how are you all doing this happening? Did you get a haircut, Marcus? I did, I. Got a haircut, finally. Got my beard trimmed. I don't look homeless anymore. My jumper looks like it's dirty, but it's not. It's just my skin showing. It's, through. it's like literally and every I, every single tiny little particle the light picks up. No, it's not. It's because you could have knitted. You can like see through it, and it's like, it's, it's my skin. You, you know. Should maybe not do that then. Well, no, it's not that. See Keep through. us family friendly, so fuck's sake. It's not see through. I just and kicked the dog. Well, it's, it's Buddha. Buddha went to the groomers today, and they came back with beautiful bow ties. Um, <sighs> will we tell them what happened to the groomers? Aye. 
uh, picked him up for the groomers, and the groomer tell is um, the Buddha, for some reason, Buddha gets really, really fucking humpy whenever he goes to the groomers. No idea why. Bronson keeps trying to run away from him, and Buddha keeps chasing him and trying to fuck him. And uh, basically, it turns out that while they were grooming Bronson, they just sort of like left Buddha in the wee playpen, and Buddha somehow got a hold of a towel and he humped it so much that he's, he created a friction burn on his dick and it started bleeding. There's blood all over the towel. I admire the determination, but a bit weird. It was, a, it was weird having to go, I'm so, so sorry to like, the, to like the nice dog grooming lady. Aye, because she she's lovely. Aye. I felt that bad. And they put beautiful bow ties on my dogs as well. And I'm like, that's that's no right. That's no right, but um, Also, like, Surely, even if you're an animal, like it's sexual gratification, so it must have felt nice. <laughs> but like, how can it feel nice if it didn't bleed? <laughs> like, maybe this is, Buddha, Buddha's just a kinky, kinky fucker. Are you guys really stupid, or he's mega kinky? He's a kinky bastard. Like. But only kinky when he's getting his hair cut. <laughs> not, not horny under any other circumstance. Just only if he's getting his hair cut. So, like, pitching a tent near the barbels. I like, my nails are, on, like, fucking so beautiful right now, man. I am, like, I am ready. I'm so, I'm so turned on. <laughs> anyway, let's well, open some baby stuff, because that's why we're here, and we actually have fucking loads of it. Loads of it. I think this is already... That's <laughs> bust. <laughs> But uh, I'm pretty sure this is like a big pillow because it's soft and squishy. I need to get my knife. Your knife? Drop the fucking boxes. Plain dyed bedroom. Oh, we have. Oh, it's a V shaped pillowcase. Right, okay, it's a pillowcase. Pillowcase, so it's obviously a pillow. Pillow. Yeah. If you're Scottish, it's a pillow. If you're from anywhere else, it's a pillow. Pillow! Hello. Right. It's a pillow. Hi. But I was like, hello, hello. Oh, right. They come from a pillow cover, but it's one of those, uh, like a V-shaped guy. Right. So, like, I'll show you. Yeah. So, if I get, like, the wane, then this would sit here, and then the wane would sit on that. And then uh, it says me holding away that my tip, the wind just can just lie there. Oh, right, yeah. And be at the tip, which means I've got two horns. So I can drink coffees and play with a phone in that. Class. Smashing. I've no idea who gave us this. There's no, there's no thing with it. See if you want something, just tell me to get it. I'm a strong and thin female. Perfect today, but I've done that, so nothing. No. There's no card with this. So whoever got us this V-shaped pillow, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Well, I appreciate it. You won't ever get to use it. So there's nothing for you to appreciate. Maybe I want to breastfeed. Well, good luck. Right, it's awesome. You're very hairy. What? You're very hairy. I'm hairy, aye. It's called being a fucking man. Aye, but like, the way it's going to be like... I'm not... <laughs> I'm not actually no. going to... I was a joke. Aye, I'm not actually going to... Babies. Some babies don't know. They just see nipple and go, oh, well, I can see here. No. It's like... It's not happening. It's like people that go to pubs and go, I can drink here, but don't realise it's an orange pub or whatever. I just have like three jumpers on every time I heard the way. Aye. Uh, Sorry. But she'll, then she'll come across your nipple piercing as well and be like, what the fuck? I'm not going to have my fucking nipples out around the fucking way because that's weird. It's not weird. Uh, it's not weird. That's weird. You should open that one. You open that one after this pillow by because it's too big to have sit in the boot. Right. Yeah. 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 Woman. Just elbowed my way. I love the elbow the fucking way. Hold on, I can say, I was stupid enough to not put my name on stuff. I got like five things. Oh, you did, yeah, you did get five things. Also, what size is my belly? Oh, man. I got a big Fat, belly. Fatty. Fatty. <laughs> Deluxe changing that. Nice. To change your baby deluxely. But it's been the wrong way. It's supposed to be this way. So oh, you can right. see all of the bees. So this is to be covered in poo and pee. 
In vomit? Yes. Yes. It's called Grey, grey Bee Mo- Molly Boo Baby. Whatever that is. There's fuck all else. Nobody said who it's for. Oh. Maybe not. Oh. Ah, Chris, was this you? <laughs> Just ask people in the chat. <laughs> Who done it? Who done this? Who fucking sent us? <laughs> Who well, fucking nice. sent us this beautiful map? That goes really well with the room, though, eh? No. Our nursery is like all florally and stuff, so that, that does us a good a good turn. So thank you. Lovely. Lovely. Ooh. I wish I could show them the actual mountain of boxes that we have here. It's not violent, I'm just opening a box. No, but. <laughs> Where is she? Greg, it says happy baby. Happy baby. Thank you. Oh, we have many things in this box, and we've got a hang tail in the suit space. No, we don't. It's called an invoice. No, no. Is that a gift receipt? Mm. Patrick Donnelly. Oh shit, we might. Have, uh, we're not. We're not going to say he's at on Twitter because I'm worried that I'm not. I might dox him because he's got his real name and his Twitter at, but I don't know if he wants his. No. He wants it out there. So Patrick Donnelly, whoever that may be, maybe he doesn't even use Twitter. I'm not doxing. It says well. wishing you all the best. So thank you so much. Alf's moisturizer. Yeah, baby moisturizer. Baby moment cards. Aye, so like when they're like, I'm three months old, you take a photo, you put the card in front of it, and then you're like, maybe three months old. Aye, uh, first birthday. Aye, I think it's for like milestones as well. Like today I rolled over. Today I tried food. I roll over all the fucking time. Babies don't know. Not straight away. Losers. So that, that's, that's like, um, those things, we, we cards. It's nice. Oh, no. you're, you're missing, you're missing super chats. <gasps> Jesus Christ, Christ, this baby is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. It's your girl. To be fair. Raid, Raid McMeekin. Ah, that's it. Raid Shadow Legends paid for our baby to be made. They did. <laughs> the, mon- the money that I made for my shit, Raid Shadow Legends folks, spent it all on IVF. Aye. Uh-huh. So Ray Ray Shadow Legends like they create memes, but Ray Shadow Legends technically illegally have created a person. Yep. They've created a human being. And it's gonna make the birds and the bees a whole lot easier, man. Like where did that come from? It's, it's well says, Mum, Daddy, where the babies come from? Well you see in the land of Talaria <laughs> there are the dwarves, the ox, and the undead. Yes. Yeah. A mobile game. And those those dummies. We have dummies. So these ones are orthodontic dummies. So Do we miss ones? We are. We're missing fucking Steve Connor. Can't wait to see the little girl. CG. Congratulations. Thanks very much, man. Thank you so much. So these dummies apparently are orthodontic. Aye, but it says acceptance guaranteed, as in like your baby will accept this. Because I like. Aye, aye. So apparently, so from what I hear, if you breastfeed a baby. A baby gets used to like a nipple, but then if you want to change it into a bottle or a dummy, they're like, What the fuck is this? This isn't a nipple. And they just, they just spit them out. But apparently, these dummies, they'll be like, Aye, aye, I'm into that. Probably the batteries in this. Oh. Look at that. Ooh. A titty pump. It is a milk pump. <laughs> so I can be like a dairy cow. Titty pump. Tommy Tippy, the. Express machine thing. Big Milky. You get ones that like you're supposed to put on your boob and then like, the boob does all the work, but this thing just like sucks the milk right out of you like a baby cow, so it should be easier. Fair enough. Exciting. Exciting times. Oh, so for attack, teach your kid to play Banner Lord. I'll probably have my kid sitting in the wee Papoose thing while I'm trying to play Banner Lord. I'm sorry I missed you on Thursday, by the way. I was I was doing other stuff. Papoose. Papoose. Wait, is there, is there any notes in this box? So we know who to thank for the to be up. Yeah, it is. 
So fucking Jeremy <laughs> from the quarters. And he got pet he got his the way the way that Jeremy said he was gonna do it is he was gonna get us a, a present from each of his pets. Oh so, he has so from the quartering family, from Kimber, from Annie, from from Hermit Crab Four. Is Jeremy he has Hermit Crab? Jeremy got fucking Hermit Crabs. The hermit Crab Four, that makes me think there's more than so he's got like many, many hermit crabs. Plus he's got the wee doggy with the big ears. Speaking of that, it just reminds me of Frank that got played ages ago. There was a high school in Aberdeen, and uh, what they done was a bunch of students like let some sheep loose inside the school. Right. So the teachers are all running about trying to get all the sheep and try and catch them and all that. And the sheep were sprayed on the sides, like the safe dive they used for sheep. Aye. But they numbered the sheep one, two, and four. <gasps> right. So they spent for everyone for number three. Oh. There was no number three. That's Locked. cheeky. Smashing. Right. Resistance. Oh, it's a wee outfit. How long until Dyke uses that as pump to pump milk and flesh? No. Would you try breast milk? No, I wouldn't, no. Apparently it tastes like rusks. I do like rusks. <laughs> You're like, I do like rusks. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not drinking titty milk, no. So it's like a wee pair of, wee pair of trousers and then like... A wee, a wee hoodie, and then a wee hairband to go with the sable, or a wee tracky. <laughs> <laughs> a wee, wee baby tracky. Isn't that cute? Isn't that lovely? Yeah. I've got two. Jesus. Hermit crab four. That's the best. This is the one I wanted. Oh, I. So it's an angel care, um, angel care. So that you can NSA your baby. Aye, so this one, this one apparently comes with like a mat. This, this mat thing goes under the mattress and the, the, it, it detects the baby's heartbeat and the temperature of the baby plus the temperature of the room, the humidity of the room, all that kind of jargon. Right. And if you roll off the mat as well, then it alerts you and stuff, but it's got like the wee screen, because you wanted the screen, didn't you? I wanted the screen, right. Marcus is paranoid that if you get one on your phone, the phone doesn't alert you, so if you've got the sign... It's already done it now. The phone's not alerted me like, enough, or, or like, see, because of the settings. I've even tried to change the settings that I always get the notifications, but no. But see that, that means when I'm on the computer, I've got a wee screen sitting right in front of me where I can watch the movie, and that's, yeah. that's what I wanted. Smashing, but well, there you go. I wonder if it was Hermit Crab number four that gave I've, re- I've reset the default password, don't worry. I'm no I'm no one of the fucking idiots. <laughs> this is this is from Kimber. This one. This is from the Hermit Crab. But um I cause this one you get you get cameras, you can get extra cameras for like nine pounds. Um, so like additional cameras. Um Smashing. Well thank you very much, Jeremy. Very kind. Very, very kind. Smashing. Smashing. This wind's going to want for nothing. Fucking stupid Amazon. This is from. Oh, it's Atticus. There you go, Atticus. You did put your name on it. <laughs> what a waterproof mattress protector. Smashing! <laughs> Oh, and it's got the wee bit that tells you how it, how it feels. It yeah. makes them soft. You go, you go through a lot of them, by the way. Feel it? It's dead cottony. So all the ones we have are Terry Towel on. So that one's dead nice. So thank you. Lovely. And I can tumble dry it, which is all the matters. Because I'm lazy. Look at Jesus Christ, Christ being an absolute lad. Tell him folks you like videos and all that. He's the best. Oh, this one's been put down as a gift because it came with a wee bag. From Alan. I won't say a surname just in case. Junior, junior Bucky starter set. Good luck to all of you. <laughs> From from Alan R. Let's say that. Maybe. Alan R. Oh, <laughs> it's Tommy Duffy's. I hear the glass ones. 
Lovely, fancy. Because mm. uh, they, they tell you the midwives and that are up a thing, and they're like, don't use plastic. Shop. Glass. Smashing. Thanks very much. Oh, smashing. <laughs> Sorry. Hopefully not. No, hopefully not. <laughs> um, I think they're a lot easier to clean the sterile ones <coughs> and, and keep clean. So no, that's good. Glass. Yeah, because plastic tends to get that weird frosty way. So thank you. That's awesome. Yeah. I think you're less likely to lose plastic bottles than glass bottles. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to start putting this stuff on, on the floor or something. I'm just half an hour doing there. Oh, all right, okay. <coughs> so much stuff. I love that. Everyone thinks they're nice. This. That's like JD Sports. No, it doesn't <laughs> I said I don't, know. I, think, I don't think this one's got anything to do with the baby. Oh, what's that? It's oven gloves. <laughs> oven gloves. I like oven gloves. What does it say? Uh, it's oh shit. Is it from Bob? For you. Oh, I think this is a package that you hadn't collected for a while. Um, yes, it is from Bob. Yeah, I think I've my last gloves in UK and I love them. For your future dumplings, Merry Christmas soup from Bob. Yes. There you go. Thanks, Bob. I still use them. You get, you get sent fucking nice things, man. It's because I'm nice to folk. I get sent fucking legal letters and fucking dildos to my PO box. Because you're an asshole. You're an asshole. Remember that time you got sent 15 litres of TV glue? <laughs> I had <don't know. laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I kept it because I was like, I'm not throwing it out, that's a waste. I'll find a use for it. I'll find a use for PVA glue. It's fast for the environment as well. Aye, uh, but it's fun for kids. Aye. Ah, Do you not remember playing with PVA glue when you were away? I remember you making... Used to, you used to dip your fingers on it and then you would let it dry and then you would peel it off your fingers. I used to do that all the time No, the only time I remember playing with it is um, uh, me and my dad made a... Um, a paper mache helmet from the war time for, oh, for right. school. It was like a thing I had to make for school. Like Avatar. Aye, it was great fun. Yeah. Um, from, I'll call her, I, 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 I don't want to read people's full names. In fact, in it, it says from, I hold on. Hi, soon, Dang, just a wee present for your lovely wee one when she arrives. In the meantime, hug your furry bairns, big fans of both your channels from Mike and Tanya. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Oh. Show me the... Hello, Rattle. Future room. What's this? That's a cyberpunk rattle. Where? Hold on. Oh, no, it's like a, a whole bunch of stuff. It's a whole box of, like, bits. Oh, it's all different rattles and yeah. stuff like that. Oh, right. Which is That's great cool. because we actually have no toys for this new asset coming. Ah, <laughs> We've, we've, got, toys. we've got tons of stuff for our like health and safety and all that, but we've no toys. We can keep it alive. We can sit there and be safe, but miserable. I know. We can keep it alive, <laughs> but we can't keep it out of the game. I'm opening this. Uh -huh. Show me that last one. Do we recognise the username? There was no username. No. Um, that was the guy's full name there. Oh. He's a splash. Oh, one of the dogs is farting, it's so bad. <laughs> ah, it's like, I'm even showing MD, I'm just looking at it for the week. But that is like a whole bunch of rattles and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And they're all like sealed, which I do enjoy. Happy days. <sighs> I'm pretty sure someone bought us a playpen. I think it might be my dad. So we can just put in the playpen and then shovel this stuff. <laughs> there you go. And it's like just surrounded by like gummies and stuff and go, yeah. Amuse yourself. Well, no, I'll play with it obviously. But... I'll teach you to play Pokemon. I'll teach you to play Battle Ball. Why would you do a play banner work? Because it's a good game. Is it? Alright. What's the big book? Hey, Ross Bar says, when's Sue due? I'm doing four weeks. 
with very little time at all. From that, yeah, it's three o'clock, are you? Oh no! What? Hunter's made for Jeremy. Let you see. Why from white or not? It's because you did too much. Right, so hermit crab one. So I'm from so hermit crab one got is that. I want to make sure I know who got is what. Hermit crab two. <laughs> Mate, well, actually, why do I not name these hermit crabs? Why? You just, just not numbered them. Just numbered them. Imagine having so many pets. You're like. Pet number one, pet number two. <laughs> right, okay. Um, Where have we got? Well, we have oh. the sun shield for the car. Smashing, so the two pack of sun window shades, which is hermit crab number two. So it's just like rolly down shades. Because uh, I don't have tinted windies, but this arsehole does because he drives a motor lift working drug dealer. I don't have I'm to. I'm going to take Swaddles. A swaddle? Who said this is Swaddle? That's from, that's from Doc. I think Doc's a cat. Fair enough. It's a three pack as well. Oh, they're nice. Look. There's like a pink one, a, a multi coloured one, nice. and one with wee leaves on it. Lovely. If you don't know what a swaddle is, it's basically to make the baby into a burrito. <laughs> and apparently they sleep better when they're like wrapped like a burrito and they can't like... Yeah. Teether. Oh, right, a TD necklace. The dummy chain is from Trixie. It's actually from the quarter, but Trixie, I think Trixie's a cat as well. Uh, right. How many cats has Jeremy got? Like five? I have no idea. Jeremy's got a lot of fucking pets. Yeah, it's but I, you, you think they're, all, they're either all foster or they're all rescue? I think so. Aye. I I'm pretty sure all the cats are foster or rescue. Yeah, so that's basically, you hook that to like their like clothes and then they just suck and chew on the chain. And it's supposed to be quite good for teasing and whatnot. It's a bit of a dummy, apparently. Yeah. 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 That looks like... Keep away from small children. No, oh, that's not a good sign. I don't know where that is. I hope that one looks like that. These are either... So what's, in, what's that? Aye. So this is... Muslin burp cloths. Is it muslin cloths? Oh, that's the ones that you're putting on your shoulder. That's what it is. Yeah. So when they when they wipe, they just wipe you wipe your own name. Yes. Right. I don't know what this is. I think so we carry one so you can take one out of you. There's no way that that's going to fit out. Surprise, by you. Aye, so it's shaped like that. So you do that, and then the wind screws it in your back, and it just gets on half of this and half of your t-shirt rather than all your t-shirt. Aye. But they're quite nice. Oh, there's one of them as well. My God. Oh. Uh, there's like six of them. And then there's like two of these things. Oh, that's for like you hook that onto that. And then this will hook to you like your jumper. So it's like hooked on a button. All right. I think. I assume. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to be a mother. I have no idea. Well, you've got a month. Uh, after four weeks. Well, no, after 18 years, I think it takes a long time to work. <laughs> oh, no, that be cases for dummies. You put a dummy in this, apparently. Oh, right, okay. And then, and then they be straps that is attached to your dummies. I thought so. I'd my camera. I've been running those. Goodbye. 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 It's just, it's just us new boys. This is a load of boring shite, isn't it? See, to be fair, I think I thought you were away. I actually think I've got like five video followers. And that's it. Yeah. Aye. 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 I think I've only got five female followers, I know. In fact, have we been missing super as well, by the way? I'm worried. I'll go back and No, I don't, I don't think we have. No, it's fine. Oracle of Twilight, be blessed you too. I wish I could have sent 
a Black Lotus just to watch Sue make you put it up for sale. Congrats again. <laughs> Cheers, man. He's got hundreds of cards. I've never made him sell any of them. Right. I take them today. We, we magic we have him. Or any of that. Well, I haven't played magic in ages because of lockdown. No. Uh, She's sitting in a pub playing a game of Commander with a few times ordering food to your table. Can't do that. Do you know what I miss? Because the fucking Chinese took it from us. Do you know what I miss? I never thought I'd miss. What? Witherspoons. Witherspoons? I don't know. I miss spoons a lot. See, if you're from Britain, how much do you miss Witherspoons? Like, do you not just miss being like, oh, it's Tuesday, it's seven o'clock. Let's go get burger and chips and like a big pint of cola for £3. Aye, it used to be a knob, but it's like, um, it's pretty good tonight. Aye, but I've only got like £20, so we'll all just go to spoons. Aye, we'll all but, just go to spoons. Aye, it's So these are the, not disposable, but reusable nappies. Right. So before you panic, no, I do not expect you to use these. But. Is that just kitchen roll? No, it's not. It's it's that's, um, ki- that's kitchen roll. It's not kitchen roll. It's it is kitchen roll. It's kitchen roll. It's not kitchen roll. <laughs> it is a fabric that's recycled from bamboo. Kitchen it's... roll. We've even got a brandy kitchen roll called fucking bamboo. And it's, it's basically the liner for the nappies. But I'd. Uh, I wanted to get reusable nappies because it's better for the environment. Plus, we are a two-person household right now, and we struggle trying to with the bins, Aye. like because the kids will be in shape bins. So I imagine our bins also full of nappies. Like it's not going to happen. But if I can get ones that I can just reuse, Aye. the bins will be as full. Plus, Aye. I'm at home all the time, so I've not really any excuse to not use reusable nappies. Aye. I think the way now, then no, I'm not doing that. But they come in like really cute colours. That would be even kitchen roll. It's not kitchen roll! Oh, fuck it is, kitchen roll. Ah, it's kitchen roll. So violent. You're awfully cranky when you're pregnant. You say that like it's just been the past, past half hour. Oh. But it's uh, the past nine months. We've been awfully, we haven't nine months. I have been, I've probably been in this a constant state of anger since like February. 2020, because that's when I started my idea. <laughs> right, no, February 2020 was when I went for my surgery. So I recovered from surgery, then did IBS, then fell pregnant. So I've probably been really, really grumpy to, to February, aye? Yeah. Oh, God, just kidding. Was Nino? Nino? No, no. Nah, I was wee hobby, that's. Oh. But it's premium buggy clips, so you can hang your shop and all that after buggy. Yes. So it's a wee leather strap with one of the clips and then you can clip everything to the buggy handles and then you put too much on and the buggy falls back and the wing goes flying. It's great. Mm. No, to be fair, it's it's quite good because you need to go do your bits. This is from a place called Comfy Quotes. Comfy Quotes. There's someone someone sent us a gift as well that they've handmade that I have to, that we have an Etsy shop. And uh, I'm going to tell you what it is, and I'm also going to put it in the description of this video. Can we not with this one out? No, I don't know who's fair. The, the, the doc- silent night, two fitted bed sheets. Nice. For the cot. Thank Happy you. days. We need that too because, um, or the pee and poon. Do you know, see how you get puppy pads? No. Apparently, like, people put puppy pads. Like under their sheets. You're not meant to do that. How? Because they put chemicals in them where I smell that attracts the puppy so that it knows that that's where it's supposed to push. No, you get ones that are just cotton. No, they've got a scent added to them so the puppies know that that's where they have to go to do a fucking shite. Oh. Aye. We see it on other mad moth Facebook things and they're all like, oh, you use puppy pads and you get a free name for like three pounds. I'm like, puppy pads? But they put it under everything so it's just push on that and doesn't stay in the mattress. No, fair. But I'm not be doing that now. Uh, the, the groomer woman just messaged me because I messaged her saying I'm really, really sorry about the dog. Best wishes to you both, folks. She inherits her looks from her mother. No offence. No, I agree. Absolutely agree. Whoever she inherits a hair off of, she's unlucky regardless. Me and you have terrible hair. Yeah. Look at me. I've got the Vegeta hairstyle. You've got like a bad hair line. I look, but... like, I look like a bad guy for a Japanese movie. You 
think so. Uh, I do. I don't, I don't know. I think you look. I'll go ahead. I, I, look, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking this, at you, and this, for some reason, I'm this one you. That, that's the one. That's the one that's got the Etsy shop. Anyway, listen to me. I messaged the groomer saying, I'm so, so sorry. And I was like, can we give you some extra money for the towels and stuff? It's covered blood. And she was like, no, I just got wet dressing the blood. Randy Wee Man. <laughs> okay, I guess. Randy Wee Man. It was just pure embarrassing because I'm trying to talk to her and Buddha's just sitting there like humping the air, just shagging the air. And I kept her yeah. and I'm trying to see if see because any other time I'd be like, Buddha, what happened? But I'm like, Buddha, no son, calm down. But it's funny, it's like when I get you up the road, I'm going to put you on the fucking fence. Yes. Oh, wait, I've got my phone to get this Etsy thing. Yeah, so there's a girl who painstakingly um, crocheted a blanket and um, I opened it thinking it was something else and I came across it and put it straight back in the box so I could talk about it. But she's got an Etsy shop, so I'm showing you this blanket if you like it, she has an Etsy shop. So wait till I find it. Wait till I find it. Zangief. I get fucking called Zangief all the time. Who's Zangief? Street Fighter. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh. She kick you? She's doing that thing when it's like this. My stomach keeps moving direction. <laughs> Aye, so it's made with love, creative. And she's got an Etsy. So wait a minute. Take that away. So she makes like hats and stuff. Oh. My phone's disgusting. <laughs> But yeah, so she makes hats and whatnot. But she's made this blanket, so I'm going to show you. And I'm going to Etsy shop in the description. But get the blanket. I opened it and I was like, the wind's not getting that. I'm getting that. She gave us a beautiful card as well, which is probably the best. But, ooh, yes, some weight in it, man. Take that away. Someone sat with their hands and like made this. I just grabbed it. Like, so take nice. one side of it. Absolutely massive, and it's so heavy. Like I'm well taking this. This is far too big for a baby. Uh, it's good, isn't it? That's nice. I like it. It's it's dead comforting because of the weight in it. You look cozy. That is actually quite cozy. <laughs> but I so um, she wrote to him like the the black was for me and the green or green was for Marcus. Uh, we figured that the black could represent Marcus and the blue could represent Sue. So I, because it's black and blue, but it's lovely, lovely. So that, I think that was a really nice gift. Mm. Obviously, all of them are really nice gifts, but this must have taken her a fucking age. How long would that take? I'm, I'm not a knitter, so I have no idea. I think it's crochet, but I don't know. You're not a crocheter either. No, but I'm comfy, but you do look comfy. I might take that to hospital with me, you know. It folds up quite small. Yeah. But it's quite big. Beautiful. Beautiful. Someone said something. I look like I'm being held prisoner with lots of tiny rope. I think so. <laughs> I'd like look at the camera. I think it looks like chain mail. Oh. <sighs> eh. Charmed Superior says, much love to you both. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, there's someone else. You read that one and then give me the books. That one's done. Dan Halen, waiting for the inevitable Nazi uniform baby grow. Congrats, by the way, PS Dank. Got that M64 controller hairline. I fucking do, I know, man. You used to hurt my belly. I used to, I used to slag my dad for that all the time. And he used to say, just wait until you're like, 18 or something in the life, 18. It's not male power. 18 my ass. You have sent me a baby for a year and you've got a fucking hair uh, like, no, hold actually. on. No, it was, it was hold a, on. When, when I was a baby or when I was like a young teenager, it was a little bit up. And then I think about 16, 17, 18, it just travels further up the head. And then I think by the time I was 18, it had just traveled all the way back and that's it. <laughs> this is just a meek and hairline. Fucking 18 my ass, look he's getting the hair, he's getting the hair when he's a fucking baby. Look at me face. You're a very cute wee baby. I was a fat wee cunt. To be fair, in that photo you look like you just came out of prison. <laughs> oh, you didn't know. Just for that bit. Me. Me. 
Oh, that's a nice bag. You do that one then. Keep it. Keep your gift. As an unwrap your present before opening this envelope. Oh, okay. Aye. Uh, well, there's a thing here. Hi, we don't really have the same views politically, so I understand if you don't at me, but I love your content and wanted to give you something. My Twitter handle is... Uh, that person. That and person, God and then God bless. Ah. From, from Sarah. That's nice. That is nice. I don't that know why funny. they would think we would like, mess with I think, think you're talking about me. I know, <laughs> I but about me, yeah. even if like someone was the polar opposite of you, but they were kind to you, you'd be like, excuse me. Alright. Oh, right. There's Bronson. Bronson's discovered all the paper. Hi, Bronson. Oh. Bronson, I won't show everyone your nice bow tie. Won't show. I can't get inside this. Yeah, look how handsome he is. Look at my handsome boy. <laughs> Big yawn. Oh, you're so handsome. Oh, no, Bronson. No, 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 son. No. No. Campbell, Marcus, it's never too late for the coat hanger. <laughs> I think it is. Pass that point. <laughs> Jesus, Sanchez, do you mind? Bronson, you're going to show everyone your Do you mind? Can't show your butthole on camera. Oh, oh there he is. He's done it. He's done it. That's us. Video the monitor. Oh, look. Oh, no. Can't. Oh, no. Don't worry about that. Don't worry. I actually thought we had. Aye, there you go. Stream, stream shut down. That's Sue. Got a strike now. Right. You happy? Good. Look at the chin bag. Oh, so sorry. You're <laughs> supposed to be involved. When you maybe keep that for fucking phone. OnlyFans. Oh, his breath so smelly. Ah, his breath fucking reeks. I love. That's Bibs. 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 Oh, that's a nice bib. Look at that one, bloody. You like that? That nice. Wait, we step in my haunter. Smell like soap. You like soap? Right, okay. <laughs> Son, would you buy? He's just fucking boy. Move. He's like, I am the alpha. The tail going because I'm going to buy. Well, there it goes. Wait. Uh, wait. Goodbye. 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 Fucking right Sneeze in the face. Sneeze right in the face. Dick. Goodbye. Right, we need to open that way. That's a lot of bibs. That's a lot of bibs. Ah, you well. just open it and last so you don't know what it is. It's the same note. Oh, right. Uh, ten pack, ten pack of bibs. So that's good. That last one day. <laughs> did you know? Did you know that the reason they've got bibs? I know obviously bibs are not for slippers and stuff, right? He's okay. he's found something that he's angry about. Oh. No, he's just running away. Stephen is slipper. See if you let the slippers get into like the creases of the neck. Ah, it starts to reek. Ah, it, it fucking reeks. And like, they get rashes with it. See, the bib is there to prevent it getting into their folds. Ah. I just thought it was just to wipe it away. I didn't realise if it gets into their folds is a pure big deal. Ah, That's yeah. wild. Some stink. Stinky baby. Right. Is this the last box? This is the last box. Smashing. And there's some large box. Ooh, wow. See, I didn't even know that. Right. He's cool. Did we miss him? No. No, any these things? Oh, super chats. Uh, I don't think we have. No. New book in that open. I'm not sure. What's it? Oh no, that's too heavy for me to lift out, don't it? Right, okay. I'll pass you in with the box. Right. That is heavy. Gummy glove. Oh, so these apparently are meant to be amazing. It's like a wee boxing glove. 
and you, you, you put it in your baby's hand so it doesn't like come off it's like that from here mm -hmm. but it's got all the stuff on them if you like chew the hand because they chew the hands anyway yeah so they just put automatically put their horn in their mouth and then yeah, it's like a teething thing do you know that babies can be born with teeth? Right. Uh, I think it's more oh, terrifying. Hold on. Is this way? Oh no, it's Atticus. Hey! Ah, it's off your Atticus again. There they are. Smashing. So you did put your name on stuff. So thank you, Atticus. Bamboo, cot bed, map. Why is all made it to fucking bamboo? Because it's good for the environment. Kitchen roll. That's nice and soft. I feel how soft it is. Yes, it's a soft. I'd like to sleep on that. Some soft bamboo. Why do you insist on upsetting me? Because it's funny. I enjoy winding you up. Is this also kitchen roll, Marcus? Ah, uh, it's kitchen roll and bamboo and one. Pink bamboo, even. This is just, it's a jersey fitted sheet. Brunson, can you relax? Oh, it's because you're chasing him. Because you're trying to get Bobby. Stop it. <laughs> Leave him alone. Thanks very much, pizza. God, just try to steal your booty. I don't mind. So, pink bed sheet. Oops. See, the fair, there's not one thing that has been sent that I will not use. Alright. And last but not least, <clears throat> my pack and appies. I actually think this is a big pack of wipes. Is it wipes? Yeah, because it's very... 99% water, aye ah, yeah, it is. It's very heavy, so I believe it is wipes. Like, because you probably see this entire box, even though this is like an industrial box, not going in the shelf, we'll go through that in two months. Aye. Maybe less. Go on with this, Stephen. Aye, it's 18 packets of 70. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hi. So no perfume, no oils, all that stuff. Just water. Just water. Smashing. Yeah. Quite good. Happy days. Mm. Was that ever? Yes. That was horrors, wasn't it? That was quite a lot. It was a oh, lot. Of stuff. We're very, very blessed. We are indeed. If someone just whacks you, we are enough to we chip. Fuck's sake. Taylor Graham, congrats, man. So very happy for you both. You're going to be the best parents from your Scottish brother across the pond. No. Okay, oh, man, what a mad man. Thanks very much. Thank you. That's dead nice. See, I just read something like kids are bad, all they do is poop. It's like all I read and then just go away. I'm just checking to see because if the people sent super chats, right, we got them. Oh, wait. Where? Jesus Sanchez, congrats, guys, and careful and doting on the baby too much in front of Dank. Like, hold on, that's just I'm worried about. Garrick Mallet, congrats on the baby. There were so many of these that we kept oh. missing. We got that. We got that Charles, one. Did we? Mm -hmm. Much love to you both. All right, okay. Campbell, Marcus is a bender. Right, cool. I'm glad I scrolled all the way for that one. <laughs> hold on. Uh, Russell Sander from India, I've been following you guys for a long time, even though I can't understand anything from your accent. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. Thanks very much. I don't do my. Is I could do my YouTube video video voice for streams, but it takes a lot of effort. I, don't care. Right. I think see, whenever there's videos of me and you, we just talk how we talk to each other. Nah. But if it's videos of just you, you're very prim and proper when you speak. Oh, no, it's because it's I'm. It's because see when I. Talk the way I actually talk. How much of people can't understand my accent? Yes. At all. Whereas my videos, I just say things and then hope for the I, best. And my videos, I say things. I say things in my videos too. I know, but like I just talk the way I always talk. Like how I'm talking right now is how I talk in my videos. And then most of it is like, no idea what you said, but your cake looks nice. <laughs> Eternal creation. I could imagine the count buying a baby's first thigh holster as the first birthday present for her gun. For her dummies? For her gun. Mm -hmm. uh, milk my man tits said <laughs> hopefully <laughs> hopefully your spawn comes with a healthy hairline I, my hairline like doesn't go the, back the, the, the women aren't affected by it the women have it like slightly but like they can still they still have a totally passable hairline mm -hmm. they, it just kind of dips 
no. like that. Whereas if you're a guy in our family, you're fucked. You've got this. My hair is quite thin. And my mum's hair is quite thin and stuff like that. I think the women in my family have quite like thin hair. So that she's not going to be very lucky either way. Like me and you have... Aye. Genetically wise, she My didn't... hair's quite thick in the parts that have it. Okay. Aye. I never, I never noticed because you've got a hat on, I think. But um, I don't know. I think genetically, um, we've, we've fucked her over a few times with a few different things. <laughs> me and you are not the healthiest people, but she'll be fine. Be all right. I've got terrible teeth. Like, I think, like, they're just quite brittle. Not brittle, but they're just not the greatest. So she's going to have, like, my teeth and your teeth, and it's going to be like... No, my teeth are, like... I've, I've, I, had, I had great teeth, then I got any fights, and now I don't. I hope she's got your nose, because I've got half a sandwich on my face. I've got a wee sneeze. You've got a wee sneeze. Uh, mm. If she's got your eyebrows as a teenager, she'll thank you for it. Why? Because you've got good eyebrows. You've got, like, a perfect, nice shape, and they're all full, and they all go the right direction. Women are quite particular about their eyebrows, but you know that. I don't give a fuck about my eyebrows. I know, but you've got quite good eyebrows. And you've got good eyelashes. Mm. These, are, these, are, these are not the things that a man wants to hear. But... So, oh, you've got great big muscles. I love your massive penis. Oh, who is this? You have smashing eyebrows and eyelashes. That just makes me sound gay. I'm trying to take the things that you have and put them to our daughter. Right. And be like, oh, she'll be thankful if she has these things from you. Okay. If she's born and I'm like, look at the fucking muscles on that way, <laughs> I'll be, I'll be a bit, <laughs> a bit upset about it. <laughs> just this, uh, it's a girl when you bring her out and she's pure. I, they're like tied to a few section and she's like, no need. <laughs> <laughs> just like punches her way through my stomach. <laughs> she's sitting holding on to a rattle, but she's like. <laughs> <laughs> She's got the beef dogs like, whoa. <laughs> Someone said somehow about breastfeeding now. Is breastfeeding still allowed in the UK? Yes. <laughs> it's yes, chest it is. feeding. It's chest not. Feeding it's now. all the newspapers try to make it, try to sensationalise it and make it sound like it's been taken away. It's not. Basically, if you are someone who identifies as a male, whatever, but you still have facilities to feed your kids, then you're not going to be like, I'm a man, but yeah, call them tits. You're going to be like, I'm a man, I have a chest. So it's people who want to be referred to them as chests, as having a chest, will be called chest feeding. Anyone who has breasts and is happy with them being called breasts is breast feeding. Right. It's literally whatever you prefer. That is the only, so the, basically it's to save people now going and having babies and old midwives, midwives that have been doing it for fucking 50 years being like, what are you talking about? That's your boobs. It's like that's your breasts. Like they've been taught and trained to be PC Correct. and be like these. This is this is chest feeding. Right. Which I agree with. I, I think that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. What difference does it make? See if someone wants to be called. No, it's fine. Right. It's fine if you want to call it that term. That's that's fine. I'll just still call it the correct term. Well, you would in our, ter- in our situation because I have breasts and I'm going to be breastfeeding. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, if it's a if it's a tip and it lactates milk, it's a breast. And if a baby's feeding from it, they're breastfeeding. What if you had cancer? Or see, would you prefer it to be breast cancer or would you prefer it to be like chest cancer? No, even when men get it, it's called breast cancer. I know, but wouldn't you prefer that it be chest cancer as a name? Because it's, I feel like... No, it doesn't really bother me no. because I'm not that insecure about my identity. I think that maybe some people might be, though, and I think as long as it, like, it helps them, then... Ah, uh, well, they're weak. Everyone's different, Marcus. Everyone's weak. <laughs> <laughs> if I had breast cancer and the doctor spent the entire time calling it breast cancer, I'd be like, ah, cool, because that's what it fucking is. <laughs> well, you're a strong, independent man, right? And you don't need any new terms. And that's fine. But some people in the world oh, aren't, aren't as strong as you <laughs> and do like things to be adapted to make themselves feel more comfortable. Well, instead of the world getting weaker to support them, how about they get stronger? I'm but, going for a fag. Why does this upset you? <laughs> right, do you want to say bye to everyone then? No, I thought, I thought you were going to have a wee chat for a wee bit. I was just going to have a fag and come back. 
take you 10 minutes. Have a five. No, it doesn't. It'll take me a couple of minutes. Okay. Goodbye. 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 Come back. They're nice jeans. Thanks. You look them off. No, your jeans. All of your jeans, not just a tap of them. Hmm. Anyway, that went for uh, baby stuff to like worldly stuff that shouldn't really be in this conversation. But uh, I'm going to scroll back a bit and see what's happening. Uh, where are we? Oh, there's tons of people saying things. Uh, I'm going to scroll all the way back to one I recognise. Oh, God. I think in, when me and him were talking about chest and breastfeeding, we missed loads. Right, okay, so there's there's Milky Man, man, man tits. Uh, right, let's go down to there. We have Christian who says, Hey from South Africa, and congrats on the baby. Thank you so much. Uh, Scott, Chrissy Jones, which one is pregnant? Lots of love. Uh, very much me. I just like to eat him cakes. Uh, Helbert says, Schneb. <laughs> Schneb. Mm, mm, mm. I'm actually going to scroll through what you've been saying just in case you were listening to that. Well, obviously, you were listening to that argument, but what your thoughts might be on that argument. Um, chesticles, aye. Uh, okay, so Michael says, keep her away from Jessica and Eve. Is she not in prison? Pretty sure Jessica and Eve went to prison. Uh, Mouse says, noob feeding. Absolutely, that makes sense, noob. And Mark King just didn't say anything, but gave us five dollars. Thank you so much. Mm -mm -mm. Oh God, no, okay. Uh, Will Horn four ninety nine says, "What do you think of Still Game? Also, how far along are you now? And congratulations. Um, I am thirty five weeks tomorrow. So we um, we are booked in for a section." at 39 weeks, so I've got four weeks to go. Terrifying. Um, and still game, I'm a miserable bastard. I'll be honest, I'm miserable. I don't really like things. <laughs> so uh, still game for me, I don't really enjoy still game. Uh, I don't watch it very often. All of my friends and family love still game. I absolutely love it. Marcus loves still game. He thinks it's hilarious. I think it's on Netflix and stuff for now. You okay? Come on then. Bronson can't get, get past all the boxes and he's just sort of looking at me like... You all right? Hello. I so still game's good because everyone else likes it, so it must be good, just Bronson. Um, but I, I, don't, I don't like it. It's not my kind of comedy. I don't really have a kind of comedy. As I'm a miserable bastard. Um, what else is happening? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus Fried Christ, tell her to only like, like the um, press the like button. I love Jesus Fried Christ. He does, he does all the things that I don't do because I'm not very good at being a person on YouTube. So thank you, Jesus Fried Christ, for everything that you do, always. Uh, can you install a microphone next live stream? Yes. Absolutely. We um, did a makeshift set up. We're in the kitchen. Well, we're in the dining room and there's like a light and a webcam and stuff. It's not great. I apologise. Um, see, Aiden saying the still game is the bollocks. Everyone loves it today. I don't... <sighs> Who's the other one? Chewing the fat? I didn't like chewing the fat either. I don't know. I think that... I like, I like being Scottish, and I like Scottish things, and I like Scottish traditions, and I like all of those things. But for some reason, when I watch Scottish stuff on TV, to me it's very cringe. I don't know why it's dead cringe. That, um, there's a, a woman on... Are you okay? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Oh, Okay. Um, there's a woman on Still Game, not Still Game, on Chewing the Fat, 
is it Kathy? No, it's not Kathy. I can't remember her name, but um, I hate I hate her face. I hate her comedy. I don't hate her face. That's really nasty. She part of her comedy is pulling mad faces, and I really I, I can't I can't go. It. But that's that's my problem. Um, is Alexa racist against Scottish people? I think everything that's got voice record. Are you okay? You're not getting on the table, mate. No. Two doors down is the cringiest, worst thing. I cannot stand it, but again, my friends fucking love it. it anything that has any sort of cringe, they like, no, no. Stop. Stop, my friends. Stop. Um, anything that has any sort of cringy stuff, I can't. I can't go. It's, it's oh, oh, it's terrible. When are you starting a forest fire? We already did a gender review, and there was no fire. So, um, luckily, never. <laughs> My dog is triggered by yours right now. My dog is triggered by not being on the table right now. I don't know why he's insisting on being on the, on the table. Are you okay? You just trying to show off your bow tie? Me? Yes. Um, I can't believe we've been streaming for an hour. Thank you again to everyone who sent stuff. Um, to the people who sent stuff that I've got a dog here on my nose. Like, see, obviously we'll message Jeremy and Atlas is here. And I think I messaged Atlas at the time who bought this stuff as well. But to everyone else, we'll message you all separately and uh, say thank you. Because it's very, very kind. And it's, it's nice because it takes such a stress off of me because Bronson. Right, is that nice? You can stay there. It takes a massive stress off of me because now I don't have to worry about the things I might need that I don't have. And with lockdown, it's awful because I can't get to any shops. So I can't see what I need. Um, supermarkets and stuff are open but we, we COVID you're not really meant to go out if you're like vulnerable and because I'm 35 weeks technically I'm quite vulnerable so I don't get to go out and see things so I have more than enough things here that I'll need so it, it, it makes me feel well nested oh there's a little more what's happening um, she says Hi, and hope you're well, sending all my love. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I hope you're also doing well. She is amazing. She's also a patron. Um, table dog. Yeah, wait a minute. Oh, his face. Bronson. New okay, case, son. You're so sad. That side profile, though. <laughs> You have a chiseled jaw, son. You're beautiful. Yes. <laughs> that's not a dog, it's a mutant, but he's got a bow tie on, so that's all that matters. Uh, David Tent, or Peter Capaldi, David Tent, all the time, every time. Uh, Sue is making Brunson dance for his kibble. No, Brunson gets good all the time, we didn't need dance for it. Anyway. I I don't know anyone else to say then, so I'm gonna go. But I'm gonna go get Marcus so he can say bye to you because he just fucked off to smoke a cigarette. Pugs are abominations. Brunson is a cute abomination though. Thanks, Dorf. <laughs> Appreciate that. Um what did I say? Tired made three breads. Brunson, that is yourself that you can see. Do not start barking. No. Look at the face. Oh, no, he's away. Bronson, that is a, your own reflection. It's about to kick off, guys. Why does your husband look like Obama? I think he doesn't. Uh, oh. Bronson? Can you hear the tiny wee drills? Right, I'm going to leave you with Bronson for two seconds and 
and I'm going to go get Marcus and we're going to say bye and we're going to, we're going to go and make pizza. So we are two seconds. <laughs> Would your husband do a video on shoe nice? No, probably not. I think HVHV did that to death and there was like, was it not a lot of stuff about whether or not he abused the guy's trust a wee bit maybe or took advantage of him a wee bit. Um, was it Gokinaru who did a video on H3H3 and Shoe and Ice? Um, but yeah, I don't, I think Shoe and Ice should be left alone just to recover and be the man he is. Uh, what kind of pizza? So I am having a barbecue base with chicken and bacon and peppers, and Marcus is having a tomato and chili base, and he's going to put meats on it. I don't know what came, it's like Spanish meat, so he's going to put chorizo on, but he's also going to put um, three other kinds. I don't know. And then he's also got chili cheese and some other cheese. So basically a, a meaty, spicy thing is what he's making. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm making um, a, a normal-ish pizza. So I'm laughing at Bronson. Um, are you aware of Mark's addiction to traps? Is it an addiction? I think he's just appreciating an art form. And uh, arts culture, no? Also, I think it's um, it's a sign of support. Bronson was doing a square go when he's in reflection. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> someone asked me if I'm aware of your addiction to traps. Come, give me that neat over bit actual folk, because someone asked me what cake you see in heaven, and um, I said, is, is heaven meats? So I'll show you what kind of meats he's having. So Bronson, this is not for you. But he's having like those yeah, we're on my fucking meat. <laughs> those things, whatever those things are. He's having those. Oh. <clears throat> um aye, so someone says, Am I aware of your addiction to traps? It's kind of public knowledge now, isn't it? But like addiction's a weird word to use, do you not think? Uh, it's not like I'm crushing them up in a credit card and snorting them. No. So I just said that you were just appreciating an art form. Yes. See? What's the baby's name? I'm not telling you. <laughs> um, <laughs> who said that? Uh, uh, I am trying to scroll back to where I was. Ryan Good says congratulations. Kirby says pizza. Bronson? <laughs> uh, Dominic Don't says, right, has yeah, Marcus yeah. been panicking yet about being a dad? Are you panicking about being a dad? No. No. Have you panicked once? Have you had any crises where you've been like, oh God? No. No? No. What if she comes to you and is like, dad, what, what's a period? And I'm the one. Go ask your mum. What if I'm the one? Wait till your mum comes back. I'm at Slumming World. Wait till your mum comes back to Slumming World. But we can't wait, but what if she's, what if she's like, in need of information right now? Well, then tough shit. Wait. That's nasty. Um, Alexandra says, maybe she'll be born on February 27th, my birthday. There is that four-week window. Um, I'm the 24th of February, so um, I think, but I think she's, uh, it's mostly the week we the 15th of March, 22. Grant Henderson says it won't be long and you'll you'll lose your mucus plug and one of those wee boys will be chewing on it. Oh That's disgusting. <laughs> First off, your mucus plug is like a big fucking bogey. It's like a big snotter. <laughs> <laughs> so there's not much to chew on if anything they'd be drinking it. And uh, secondly, <laughs> no. Dude, no. do you like it so much my audience over the last few years, eh? To be fair, this is like usual for me though. <laughs> right, where are we? What else am I reading? 
Someone says, so, 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 sorry, Swatch King Bananas says Marcus is a trap. Um, so I just put Skog off his dinner talking about Mucus Pog, so that's terrible. Sorry. Uh, and Charm says she'll be a Pisces. We should all be a Pisces because it's like, because I'm a Pisces and I'm the second half of February, so the first half of March is uh, still Pisces. Uh, so Russell Standard just sent us money, but I don't know what currency that is because it, it looks like um, alien money. Can you come up here and sit, please? I'm cleaning the fucking mess. Well, you can do that in five minutes when we go because I'm going to go. Because I'm going to eat soon, I'm going to eat and I'm going to pee. Um, I where's that? Where's this? I have no idea. Mm. You familiar with that one? Where we'd better, Jimmy? All right. Don't want to scare you as a med student. I've been seen live bus plenty of times. It's truly something. Wish you all the strength and power for it. Well, there you go. Thank you. It's baking. I get warned off everybody not to look. Apparently, the nurses are like, look, it's magical, it's beautiful. It's a natural bus, but we don't have a natural bus. No, but still, I don't know, otherwise, yes. I bet you don't like surgery. No. Nah. And I'm, I'm having a section, so it's surgery, isn't it? No. Nah. I don't want to see that shit either. I'm pretty sure my half cousin was like, I don't know why I've got this in my head. Maybe maybe she didn't tell me this, because it was a few years ago. But I'm pretty sure she told me that she accidentally looked down and had to take her intestines out of the way. So when she looked down, she could see her intestines like on the table next to her, and I was like, "What? Like what?" Okay. She's lying there, she's like, mm. and then it's just intestines. Wally dogs is farted. I know. <laughs> it's weird. Can like, you done that bed behind us? Um. My baby just turned nineteen. You'll think there's a. Did I pay in your entrance? Wait until teen years. I've been wrong about the teenage years. Aye. Well, by the teenage years, I'll not be hearing any more wains and I can just become an alcoholic or something like that. I'll be fine. I'll be able to deal with it. That's an absolute joke. I won't be an alcoholic. I haven't drank in like 12 years. Nah, you don't drink at all. No. You don't drink. You don't smoke. Don't do drugs. Don't do N. Take aspirin and eat food. She takes aspirin right now. Mm, I don't, a I, fucking junkie. I know. I take prescription drugs, but that's it. But only <laughs> not not re- recreationally, actually using them. But you uh, know, I don't. I've, I've not been drunk since I was twenty or twenty-one, and I'm thirty-three. So. Oh, there we go. Whereas your room, you've lots of whiskey. Yes. You've far too much whiskey. You've got like 12, 15, 12 13 bottles of whiskey in it. Is that doctor's program that came on because he was on PlayStation? Right, right. Someone says that obviously the, the audio is pushing me to use the microphone next time. I know, we do. I know. Nicole says currency looks like rupees. Is that Nicole, Nicole? Is that? Will, will Marcus make your future son in law take his last name? I. That's the thing is, like, see if you ask me to like hyphenate my fucking surname or anything, I will tell you to fuck right off. He's just sitting playing with fucking paper. Francis is crying. Like, see, I would tell you to fuck off. But see, if another boy tries to marry, tries to marry a daughter, I'd be like, ah, guys, she totally like hyphenate your name or like take her last name, you know? It's like, it's all so the age nowadays, do you know what I mean? But then you're going to bastardize your bloodline because it's not true, not true line. Calm down, that one. No, but like. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like you want you want the second name, so you want a son, so that the name continues, right? Aye. But if you do that and you make that boy take that second name, aye. He's only going to be having my real daughter, isn't he? Aye. Aye. So who's the bastard guys in the bloodline? He's passing like basically a daughter. Is it the there. same? No, it's not the same. No, aye, they have the same blood. If he's having wings with your daughter, that's the bloodline passing down. It's different, you but... Just, no, 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 it's not. Because it's supposed to be the man that takes the name. It gives the name to the woman. Aye. Oh, I don't know. I can hear folk talking. I thought it was them, but it's not. Um, oh, I don't know. Whatever. Aye. Take names. Don't take names. Who cares? No. You want to be Hulk? No. Not at all. I actually miss my second name. See, whenever I phone for like deliveries and that, and they collect it, they're like, "What's the name?" And I'm like, "Kelly." 
I was just with the phone and they're going about. Nah, but I'm always like, Kelly, because <laughs> uh, they don't ask how to spell it. I'm instigating clan warfare again. Ah, bring it back. Simple time, stuff gets sorted. This clan warfare. For, for the men, see if anybody was, if there was any type of agree, disagreement or anything like that, or any problem needed resolved, it would either be settled between the two men that had the problem, or if it was between clans. 40 men for one clan, 40 men for the other clan, so that you couldn't just, the bigger clan couldn't just overwhelm everybody with numbers. The rule was 40, 40 men for one clan, 40 men for the other. Right. They duked it out, last man standing, they're the winner of the argument. I would think he hundreds of wins to win that battle. I don't know, it's fair. We've only got two in the freezer. Like, you missed a chance. That's right. Philip Heron, are separate schools a thing in Scotland like it is in Northern Ireland as in Protestant versus Catholic yes. schools? Yeah, yeah. Yes, That's it is. Here. Care, they're trying to get rid of it though. They're trying to do like non-dominational schools where they basically take the shittiest Catholic school and the shittiest Protestant school, the ones that are like basically demolished and they go fuck it and they just put them in one building together Yeah. and hope for the best and it never That's works. It's going to cause problems. How? It just will. Like, I've realised that that stuff's not as bad now. Like, it's still there. It's still hovering about. Aye. But it's, aye, I grew up I mean, with my son being Kelly. Everybody's asking comments our chat room. So what if your daughter wants to marry a Campbell? She won't. And that'll be, that's, that's not the influence in it. That'll be her decision. Some guy up here walk up to her in the night, nightclub and all that and you'll go, yeah, my name's uh, John Campbell and she'll go, oh, that's nice and then dunk her drink on her, he said, and fucking walk away from him because I'm going to raise her right. So how does it work if she's gay? If she's gay and she, she wants to marry a woman, do we need to convince a woman to take her something? Aye. So that when they adopt children or they get like surrogate sperm or whatever? Ah, uh, they will do the surrogate sperm. <laughs> Will they? Nah. They can do what they want. Do they sell it say though? Why? Because this hairline must continue. <laughs> but it must won't because it's not your sperm. I uh, know, but I just don't. I just don't like the fact that there's been like a hundred thousand years of humans breeding, and then oh, it ends. We. Who said that was the case? I remember the first funeral I went to for your family. And as soon as I went the in... The first funeral. Sounds like we're all dying. <laughs> no, because like, it was like, like the first family funeral. You, know, you had to go and say like, bye to your uh, family members and stuff. And I went in, and I'd never met anyone of your extended family, and all the men looked the exact same. They all had the exact same hairline, the exact same haircut. They were all the exact same height. Yeah. It's, just, it's a copy and paste. Everybody also kind of looked like Phil Collins. Aye. It's the shittiest game of Sims ever. They're the same, see, colors see, the same people. See, see, if you want to know what my dad looks like, Google Phil Collins, like now, like a current picture of him, and that that's what my dad looks like. He, he used to get shit for it all the time. It's funny. Uh, I um, used to rip my dad for it all the fucking time. And all, like, whenever he was bitching about something taking ages and all that, like, it's just taking fucking forever. All his pals would pure go, well, it looks like you'll just have to wait. The that man and then my dad used to go, fuck up, and get your rage and that. It was quite funny. That's funny. The only uh, way you can tell my family is they've all got massive fucking blue eyes and big fucking noses, like big, massive, like half sandwiches. Also big ears. I know my mind's are stretched, but I had big ears. Big lugs. Coitus ergo sum, stick to the plan, bank. Your daughter will make her twink boyfriend take her son name. You goddamn fucking right. Absolutely. Are you going to be okay if she starts marrying? Like, if she even though starts marrying, but starts, starts saying, marrying, like, starts starts marrying everyone. Se- several men. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, what if she like? Because you're quite, you're quite like, I am man. Like, you're quite alpha. You like to like be angry and make lots of noise and drink. So I think that like, what if she like brings in like boys and they're like we fannies and you're like, hey, well, like we we skinny. Metrosexual, skinny jean, weirdo types. Ah, like male feminists, and they're like dead thin and frail, and they don't want to fight, and they're very placid and stuff, and they're like oh, oh, the opposite of you in every way, shape, and form. But if she thinks one of the him, she's like, I'm in love. Are you going to be like, I accept this? No, I'd, I'd be like, ah, oh, it's very nice to meet your girlfriend. So <laughs> full. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, see, the first, see when my, my dad. Died. I mean, if my daughter wants to be wants to like date a male feminist, then I'll accept her being a lesbian. Right, that's fine. If she wants to be a lesbian and date a male feminist, that's not a problem with me. I'm very progressive. The first time my dad met one of my boyfriends, um, his name was David, right? Right. And my dad was like, "Nice to meet you, Igor." 
And I was like, You go <laughs> You can ask my dad. Like, and I was like, I'll fucking love your dad. I was like, it's David. And he was like, that's what I said. Egon. <laughs> and he was like, he was like, okay. Was another the dad's not I? Apparently I <laughs> But um, I, so my dad called me Egon his face. Um, my dad's an asshole. World Book Official, help a man from my local post office for attempting to send a watermelon into a PO box. What? Any tips for evading the postal service? I have no idea, I'm afraid. Sorry. But thank you for the donation. You can buy what's a watermelon there. <sighs> right. Someone says uh, you want a, a cable tossing um, champion bag of champion. Champion. But um, uh, I don't know if this has to me, see with COVID. Probably won't be any more Highland Games. Nah, no more Highland Games. That's pish. Do you think they may be able to try and put your hands on the gauges? Yes, these are basically handles. I know, it's hard. So you see, whenever I back, I've, I've taken them out and there's some lines of shrank right in, but. Uh, it's going to be harder because if she gets like two fingers through that, she's oh, going to get stuck. Oh, fucking hell. I haven't seen where, see where my, my sister had my nieces. Mm-hmm. I was sitting holding them and all that, and they would always like, I, as soon as I turned my head away and I wasn't paying attention, I'm just dangling this in front of them, and they, both of them would just go I, and grab and like hold the fuck on. And I'd be feel like running to my sister, like, get her off, get her off, because she's sitting there just yanking on my fucking ear. Uh, these are basically uh, big handles at this point. Uh, she's definitely going to like pull on these and stuff. But, um, I think we may it's going to be a bit easier because right. they're so big. But as yours are so small, she's going to get two fingers hooked in it and then it's going to be harder to get them out. All right. But we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Right. Maybe she'll be so used to us having them that when she's over that really young stage, she won't yank them. Right. But I don't know. Uh, I'm not looking forward to her coming back in primary school. And the, um, the I will, but the see when she comes back to primary school, whatever, and they're like, Oh, I get bullied today because you're a freak. Like well, you've had tattoos and piercings and big fucking ears and all that. Like you're gonna be like the actual reason why we get bullied. No, it's no, it's fine. Well, I'll just say, okay, what you do is you take the person that's bullied you. You make sure as many people around are, are, are around us to see it, and then you just smash them over the back of the chair. Smash them over the back of the chair, but it has to be where everybody can see you. I all right, you'll get detention. I all right, you'll get suspended. But see, because every single person seen that, everyone's going to go, Jesus fucking Christ, and they won't ever fuck me again. That's great. School's like, That's not how school works anymore. Sc- school's like prison. That's not how school works anymore. <laughs> well, Hatton, and she'll go, but miss, my dad told me to smack this wee lassie in the face with a chair. No, I say, did that. And no, then she no, go, she's not going to be a cat. Come on, social services. Can no. you please investigate this family because this man is in jail? We'll tell, we'll tell you what, then. If the school pull me in for it, I'm just going to go like that. Well, you didn't do anything about it. So she had to herself. There you go. So many ways. I'll just do I'll just do a fucking... There was a, there was a thing that happened. I'm not going to say any names here. Oh. <laughs> right. But there was a boy that was bullying another boy. Right. Now the boy that was being bullied, his dad was a bit of a serious character. Okay. Right. And what happened was it went on and on and on and the school was nibbing it and about it and all that. And what happened was <laughs> what eventually happened was uh, it was about, they were both about like 13, 14 or something like that. And one night the dad got fucking raging about it because I forget what happened. The boy came home and his fucking nose was burst and fucking oh. or a shy eye. It was Hunter's hands as well. Apparently one time in school they ran up behind me a wee automatic, like the wee hair trimmer and just done that. They had a chunky hair eye. Oh, that's terrible. Proper tormented the boy. So what happened was the dad and a few of his pals were at the motor one day. So I saw the wee boy that was bullying his boy pulled up next to him and just grabbed him and flung him in the motor. They took him all the way up to Plains, uh, the opposite end of the Airdrie. Basically, he went, I'm, I'm insert kids' names, here's that. They went like that, if you go near my fucking way again, I'll come for you and all your wee pals. Put him out of the car, took his shoes and socks off him and made him walk home. And just drove That's away. That's kidnapping. There. What? That's kidnapping. Oh no, it's a very serious crime, and you shouldn't should never have. You should absolutely never fucking do it. I'm just telling you a thing that happened. Do we know these people? You've actually met one of them before. Right? <laughs> That's terrible. Are you planning on making your daughter a tomboy? No, she can be what she wants. No, she can be what she wants. To be fair, I have nothing but frilly frocks and 
and socks and girly things until she's like socks aren't a tomboy thing. <laughs> no, <laughs> but like I wanted after I'm gonna dress her like a dead girly girl until she's old enough and she goes, Stop stop this. I want trousers and I'm like, what's my beauty trousers in? But um I a lot of the clothes I've bought are girly, but we've missed chance. Go you go check. I don't know. Come on. And then um and then we'll then we'll leave. Because we need to make dinner soon. It's seven o'clock. I know. Barity Key, I guess how you pronounce that. Uh, what if your child wants to have a harem slash makes a harem? That's what she wants to do. That's what she wants to do. I think it was one before that, maybe? I think there was one. I was that one. Ross Boyle, try a giant catapult, world book official talking about watermelon. Okay. That's why I'm always fear of you know, like, people finding this house. Mm. You know what I mean? Because the one, the one thing is, like, on the one hand, it would be quite funny, mm. and I would like, I would dress up in a fat suit and put on my Ross, Bob Ross wig and pretend to be Dragon Lord and go out and start like shouting in German, even though I don't speak any German. And then on the other hand, there are people that would actually want to maliciously like be shite. Mm, no, there is people that want to, that want to maliciously <laughs> the hardest. Um, we had a, a wee gas engineer in the other day there. Uh, and he, was, he was in for like an hour and then he went to check the radiators in Marty's room and then he went, are you Kate Nakua? And then he went, oh, so you are. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and I was like, so the only time I've ever heard someone go, oh, so yeah. Is it wrong with that? Yeah, I've never I've seen your face yet, right? I'm not obsessed with Draken Lob. <coughs> He's just a fascinating character. Mm. He's a very tormented young man. He is, he has a tormented soul. Yes, yes, he is. Mm. Someone asked earlier on if you would ever do a video on shoe nice, but I said the shoe nice is to be left alone. And I don't know how I feel about shoe nice. There was all that stuff that Gokinaro um, mentioned about HP, HP, maybe possibly taking advantage of him and stuff like that. I think he just needs to be left alone to recover from whatever he's recovering from and stuff. Yeah, he's got, he's got something wrong then. I think it was his alcoholism. Uh, I think it's more though, it's mostly like Dra- Drakenloff's just a fanny. Uh, he's, he's mental. He's just a fanny, but whereas shoe nice, I'm sort of like mentally, there's something, there's something no right, so. I just there's a difference between doing a mad lad and someone and then like to make someone and stuff as well. Yeah. But I think that's it. I want pizza. Yes, we're gonna make pizza. Mm-hmm. Um train out if you the Scottish people. Taylor Aye. Aye, to be honest. Well but but as but as um the Scottish people think that freedom just now is just going to the EU. Aye. It's voting for the SNP and the uh, banning speech. Making making certain things illegal to say around the dinner table, or like in your own home, uh, through freedom. Yeah, no. But this has been fun, and I, I appreciate again. I appreciate everything that we got. I was saying that all the stuff we got has made me a lot calmer because now I don't need to worry about things because I've got it all. Uh, no, I like good. that we tracky. Hmm. We tracky. No, I was only That's nice, isn't it? Oh, no, no, no. How up? How up? What does that mean? I think it means like go away or like fuck off or something in German because oh. it's what it's what Dragon Lord like screams at people all the time. Oh, really? Aye. Uh, oh. Well, this was a nice wee online baby shower. I enjoyed myself greatly. Uh, I think also the baby did too because she keeps kicking me. Like, feel there. She's like right there. Fucking hell, so she is. She's just chilling at the top of my stomach because if she's trying to get close. Because if she's trying to peek up and see what you feel there. No. She's jumping about. Do you know feel that? Ah, I can feel her moving about a bit. Ah, right? it's flying about. It's rough. It's rough, man. Apparently she's like, on Tuesday there she was five... Fucking hell, she doesn't have. Ounces. No, five pound, 11 ounces. Is that right? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> that was a big one. <laughs> uh, so she's quite big and she's dead long, apparently. The tall baby. Yeah, she's got a big fat belly. Because <laughs> they measure your, they measure the baby's belly and stuff. So, hi, right, hi. They're saying she's hungry. She is hungry. I'm hungry. Nah, I'm hungry now. Um, hi. I said this to Hi. So thanks, thanks everyone. I appreciate you all coming and I appreciate all your gifts and all your comments. All your cards and all your well wishes and everything. So, why are you laughing? I'm just laughing at that guy who just says, I was 5'11 when I was born. I don't know why, I just made me laugh. Why? Because he's saying he's 5'11 when he was born. No, 
Phone 11 inches. Oh, five phone 11. I thought he meant he was five foot eleven. Nah. I thought he was just shit posting. Well, he might have been, but probably not, because I just says that, I, that, that the baby is five eleven, oh, five inches, yeah. five inches. There's helmets. No, oh, I'm the helmets. Bye, fat boy. Trip steak. I'm offended now. We're going to play Little Nightmares. Yeah, I'd love Nightmares too. Mm. Right. But anyways, end of stream. I'm starving. Make my fucking dinner. Make it in right, fucking dinner. Make my fucking dinner. Right. Goodbye. Bye. Oh.